being in your job. That's how you feel? That's how you feel? This man crazy. OST 24-7. OST 24-7. You watching OST 24-7. Let's get it. All right, so just make sure you're alert off the wall. Because they do a good job running their sets. And it's going to be really, really imperative that we remember our rules, stay to our rules, and keep jumping to the ball on the weak side. You should not be hugging. And this is the game also where they would run action on the weak side of the floor, ball's over here, and we're sitting there chasing our man, hugging our man off the ball, instead of jumping to the ball, and you guys are getting hit with screens, and they're getting wide up the left, when you should have been right on that midline, helping and sinking and pistoling up. So we'll definitely work on that a little bit today, when we go with three on three and a half. A lot. And you know what the other problem is? Y'all aren't talking off the ball. So when you switch off the ball, you still have to call it every time. We know we, we all should know what we're doing, but we still have to verbalize it, all right? Because it's happening so fast in the game. So open up your mouth. You ain't got time to be cool, cool, quiet. Don't get you wins in basketball. I'm sorry, they don't. So just open up your mouth, call the switch, fight over the top, and stay in the upside position off the ball. All right? The on-ball pressure was solid. It was okay. But I'm more concerned about off the ball, being alert, being in the spot, jumping to it, pistoling up, and just staying with all the All right, we're going to get some work. We're going to bang it out all the way to 745, man. We're going to work today. Work up here. One, two, three. Work. All right. It's Nolly Class of 2018, 6'7 shooting guard, Langston Hughes High School, Virginia Tech signee. My game is all around, it depends on what my team need that night, whether it's defense, offense, uh, leadership, being vocal, it just all depends on the night. I model my game after Kevin Durant, that's my favorite player in the NBA. So like a little bit of Durant, a little bit of Paul George. My name is Rory Welsh. I've been here at Langston. This is my sixth year at Langston Hughes. You know, I've, known, I've known Landers since he was about uh, six years old. I've known him since he was a little kid. You know, me and his dad, very good friends. We go way back. Me and his dad used to play ball together all the time. Uh, when, when Chaz was just a little rug rat running around the gym, he's a straight up gym rat. Every day he's working. If he's not here at Langston Hughes working, he's at a gym in his neighborhood working. If he's not in a gym in his neighborhood working, he's in his front yard working. They have like, his dad built like a 30 by 30 slab and they got a shooting machine the whole nine. So rain, sleet, Winter, summer, spring, fall, he's getting shots, he's working on his game. Um, and it's really a testament to what his dad has instilled in him. And taking the bull by the horns and saying, you know, I got my son, I, I'm going to teach him how to prepare, I'm going to get him right. And um, the kid bought into it. The biggest influence when it comes to the game of basketball is my dad. That's a no-brainer. Uh, the only trainer I ever had in my life. Uh, me and my dad, man, we done been all over the world. In my 10th grade year, we was in Chicago. Uh, ninth grade, I was at Lovejoy. Now I'm here. Um, it just all started with him. Hey, turn and see him, then snap it. Whoever gets the outlet, go middle. Whoever passes the outlet pass, go behind that man and get wide. All right? The other guy, all three guys can be sprinting, especially the one that did not get the rebound or the one that didn't get the outlet pass. Sprint out wide. All right? Let's go hard, go fast. Tight down. On top of that three-point line, both of y'all sit down, push the up, remember, body gets the first pass, top, you drop down, and you get help. Alright? You go hard, go quick, and you need to get your boy to go. Oh, no. Um, some things that keep me motivated. Uh, we wanted to play in the NBA at next level, next level. I just want to be in the NBA, I want to be one of the ones that stick, not just get there and be bouncing around from team to team. So I just want to play in the NBA. That was my ultimate goal. When I committed to Georgia, uh, I was committed, fully committed. But then I found out some stuff that I didn't know before I committed. So that kind of changed my decision. And Virginia Tech, that's just a better, better fit for me and to where I want to go in life. So the staff, they love me on and off the court. They want me to just be a better, not be just a better basketball player, just a better man in life. So Coach Buzz, that's what he talk about all the time. He called me consistently. Coach Webb called me consistently. To me, 
me, Georgia is top three basketball states in the country. We produce some of the best talent like in the country. You got Jalen Brown, who in the NBA. You got Wendell at Duke. You got MJ at Florida State. You got Colin, Alabama. So I just think we're one of the best states as far as hooping. Represent here, I feel like last year we put it on the map. So this year, um, kind of got a target on our back. So I feel like just got to stay focused, not worry about what everybody say. And we're going to get back to where we went last year. This year, it's a lot more pressure on me. I guess people don't think we're going to make the same run we did last year because I guess we lost a lot of pieces. But right now, we're doing better. Uh, we only lost five games so far. But this year, it's a lot more responsibility, so I got to like lead the younger guys. We got a lot of 10th um, and 9th grader, 11th graders. We only got like four seniors. Um, one you just saw, Tyler Smith. So he coming in, he transferred in. So that's kind of got to like mold him, get him used to the offense, get him used to the system, and, and we're going to be good. We here, we here, we here. Some goals I have personally. Mm, I want to finish leading the state in scoring. Um, I want to finish top three in every category, honestly. Uh, Georgia Mr. Basketball, I feel like that's an award I should get um, stat-wise. Um, third state championship, second state championship here back to back, but for me that'll be three. Um, going to Illinois, it kind of helped my game. Like the the game pace is way faster up there, so it kind of got me ahead of the the bunch a little bit. And it's more tough, more physical. So the stuff they try here, it really don't work because I already been through it for a whole year. Um, coming back here, it's kind of like slow. So I got I had to adjust to that, running more sets, not getting as many points in transition, and learning how to settle down and run offense. <laughs>
was hard, it was fun. Long days, I got suspended a couple games, but the journey was long, and man, we got it. It's home. I mean, it meant everything. Going through it like three years in a row, I mean, it's just a part of the plan, a part of the journey. I just got to keep going and get the state. Shout out to OST247.